Hello, it's Keith at Don Redwood Groves and today we're starting to put in the rainwater harvesting system. We put all the gutters in and uh, we have now adding in the rain filter heads and we're bringing in the four inch PVC pipe and we're going from the front of the house going back. Um, the rain heads are set up. Gonna, this one is a little easier. Nice, so they self cleaning. You have the leaf, leaf part and then we have the screen and everything will come out. We picked five feet um, from the ground. It gives us maybe not as much head pressure as I'd like, but if we go any higher, um, it's gonna be pretty awkward. And uh, we're gluing everything underground, but everything above ground, uh, we're not gluing right now because we're gonna take that all off and we're gonna paint all the PVC to match the uh, the gutter color so it'll blend in a heck of a lot better than this white PVC. But we've got four coming on the front pipe and only two on the back, but it's about the same uh, surface area. We have just the garage added onto the front and, and this little section, you know, that's actually the same on the back, apologize. So we're gonna come up here and uh, connect the back pipe and then we're also running the water line down the same hole that they're digging so you can see over here we've got uh, the two connections the one over the far side and this one here um, we're going just over the pipe for the septic system and then it's actually going to go down this hill and the two 1600 gallon tanks that we got right now are going to go way down there and uh, we'll bury them about halfway down this hill and so the top of the tank will actually be below ground that's up here so more or less all this water will go into our tanks uh, more to come and here's the design for my first flush system my system is set up to turn a wet line into a dry line we're using 15 feet of six inch pipe uh, to be the first flush for the whole system and what I've done here is I've taken an inch and a half PCV pipe and cut a little flat piece to allow the ball to sit up against that. So when it comes down, I don't want the ball to fall into the six inch piece, but when the six inch piece fills up, it will come up and catch the flat section of the T and then will go up into the tank. And so the drip valve goes, will drop down to six to four inch at the back and uh, when it's all said and done stops raining this will drain out and will drain the rest of the pipe so our wet line system now is a dry line system so again six inch to four inch i used a just a inch and a half pvc because it's the flattest piece i cut a piece and shimmed it into that area i took a short stub pushed it into there i take a street 90 hook it up to that i take the ball the ball goes into there and then the section with the the, um, the chamfer for the ball fits on that and there's our first flush check valve hope you like okay so inside the tank um, we've added a pipe that comes down to a foot to the bottom and what that's going to do is allow the fresh water to go in the bottom and um, as the tank fills and overflows it should get the um, more of the older water out and keep the fresher freshest water into the tank and you can't you know, maybe you can see it um, i drilled a little hole it's 1 air hole in there and what that's going to do is um, is the first flush tries to drain it's going to um, allow the air pocket to pop and, and allow this not to become a siphon and allow the first flush to empty out the tank of water. So um, you want to make sure you put a little little hole in there and allow air to be sucked in so that we don't allow this to ever be a solid water column to allow this to be a siphon. Okay, so here we are, the finished look. House is up there, 
the two four inch lines from the front and the back come down. I have an H system way up by the corner of the house to allow the two pipes to uh, flow. Um, so one bounce out up there to try to keep the same pressure. Comes down here, 90 over to here. Right in here is where my uh, check ball then they teeter in that that T and the 90 so that floats back and forth um, Here is my first flush six inch pipe 15 feet on each line comes down here we go from six inch to a four inch and then we have uh, Drip valves so I put in there for your first flush system so then when the stops raining this line will drop Lines come up when it's the first flush is full, it'll fill up these four inch lines and go into the tank. Okay, for the water uh, supply to the house, we ran a one inch line down with the two four inch gutter lines and we brought that down. It comes right in through here and uh, it feeds the two tanks. So we got one feed line, one inch coming in and we got a ball valve for each side and then I added an extra ball valve so that if we ever want to add more capacity tanks we can add um, dig a trench here or drink dig a hole and bury two more tanks which to be honest probably we'll end up doing that at some point in time just to give us more capacity these two ga these two tanks there's 1600 each so I got 3200 gallons so I've got a month's worth of uh, water supply for us um, but you know sometimes it's a little bit more and these tanks are only uh, 650 bucks I think or so a piece and I can get them here it's 30 miles away 48 hour turnaround time for me so uh, a pretty good tank these are food grade tanks um, got any questions about this uh, give me a call or send a send a note and I'll gladly try to answer again this is Keith at Don Redwood Grows uh, if you like please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.